Hi, today I'm going to tell you about three tips on how to have good boundaries. Hi, I'm JK Hairston, MD, and I am a doctor and a mentor, and I teach empathy. So, it's really important not just not to just have boundaries, but to have really good boundaries. And I, here are three important tips that will help you have um, better boundaries than you may have now. The first important tip is one, to be truthful. Being truthful um, is first about being truthful with ourselves. Being truthful about what are our actual feelings? How do I really feel about what's happening right now? How do I feel about what's happening in my life? And what? how do I feel about my own actions? So when we're truthful about our feelings, then we can learn to acknowledge our feelings and do it honestly. And this can be done in the, you know, the your privacy of your own home. So it's important to learn how to be truthful with yourself so that you can um, not deceive yourself about your life. Um, Self-deception is a very real thing. And, and in order to have good boundaries, it's really important that we not deceive ourselves and that we not keep ourselves in the dark, that we actually um, look at our own truths. So this, um, the second part of being truthful is being truthful with others. So once we know what our truth is, then um, learning how to make our yeses a real yes, 100% yes, and make our no's real no's, 100% no's, and to be absolutely fine with either answer, because both are necessary in life. It's important to be able to say yes, and it's important to be able to say no. So, it's, so in order to be balanced and have good boundaries, it's important to, to be able to live your yes as equally as much as to live your no. So that's the first key. The first key, the first tip is to be truthful. The second one is to now that you're truthful with yourself to start developing relationships with other truthful people. And I'll get to the importance of that in a moment. But when you develop, when you practice truthfulness in your own life, you will learn what it looks like. And so um, then you will see it in other people. And those are the people that you you want to develop relationships about. People who know who they are, they know what their yeses are, and they know what their noes are. And so that they, and people who feel comfortable saying either. And so then you kind of know where you stand with those people when they're, when you're dealing with honest and truthful people. And so, and then because you're being more honest, more truthful, then um, you get to deal more with reality rather than our own imagination about how other people and other situations and how people are and how would they respond and get into all those unnecessary head games. So the second tip is develop relationships with truthful people. Now the third tip is learning to accept that truth um, and learning to accept um, reality and other people's boundaries. Because if you want people to accept your boundary, that's important to be able to accept other people's boundaries. Um, however, when you are able to truthfully express your boundaries, your good boundaries, and you're able to hear and honor and respect other people's um, boundaries, then you start developing a really good system of giving and receiving, just back and forth, back and forth, where um, you are being um, more honest, you're being honest, <laughs> and we're getting to that point of, of just being able to not be afraid of our own truth and not to be afraid to express our truth. And, and in turn, you'll get that back from others. And when you hear it, it's really important that you accept that truth that that's really their truth and that you honor and respect that that's their choice and that it's okay for them to choose in that way. And then as you are 
learning to recognize good boundaries and seeing other people with good boundaries, you you will realize that other people will uh, in turn respect your boundaries. However, in the beginning, the search uh, may feel like it's few and far in between, but it's important to really develop truth in yourself and look for truth in others if you really want to have good boundaries and to accept that reality that it is what it is that you know we're not here to like maneuver manipulate or do things to other people we're really here to live our own lives and and that's accepting other people for who they are and where they're at and so now the importance of that so um i don't know if many of you have heard of like um in Greek mythology, there is this person named Sisyphus, and he was um, really pretty much condemned to a particular type of um, purgatory where he was um, rolled this huge rock, this huge boulder. He was pushing it uphill, just pushing and straining. He was very, very strong. And as he pushed this boulder and strained and sweated and he made it uphill you know he felt a sense of relief but immediately the boulder ran um fell back down the hill and so then it was back at the bottom again and then he had the task of pushing it back up the hill you know with a lot of effort just pushing that that boulder up the hill so i would like to compare that having good boundaries is like building a fence at the bottom of that hill it's really important that you surround yourself with people who have boundaries as well and who are respecting and honoring your boundaries otherwise it's like dealing with people who just let the rock roll downhill and then it just kind of crushes your fence and then you build your fence up again, you state your boundaries, you live your boundaries, and then you're dealing with people who don't have good boundaries. And that boulder comes, you know, you know, tumbling back down that hill uh, at great speeds, crushing you and your fence. So it's really, I can't really stress enough how important it is to learn how to build good boundaries. Um that really good fence, but also to surround yourself so that you're, um, that you're not constantly dealing with boundary violations. You're not constantly dealing with untruthful people who you can't believe that you're not constantly dealing with just disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. Um, because we're not meant to live in that way. We're really meant to live in truth. Uh, and the basis of good boundaries is developing that truth first in ourselves and then, you know, like-minded uh, um, people just surrounding ourselves with people who are also walking in their walk and, and walking their talk and, and walking in faith and living in, with good boundaries. So that's really important. That's my message for you today. If you want to learn more about having empathy for yourself and for others, then is um, just to subscribe to this page. Um, welcome to follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Love to see you there. And come over and ask questions in Clubhouse. I'm all the time, well, twice a week, all the time, twice a week answering questions in Clubhouse right now. So um, if you like to just have more discussions and what this looks like and what it's like to you know really develop yourself in this way be glad to um, see you there so thanks so much for listening in and be well